What's up team? Fullest, this is your girl Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Trek of my canal. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I make my body butter. And these are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. This is also the container where I'm going to store the product. I've already washed and sanitized all the, the containers and the ingredients. I've already um, cut out the measure. You can use as much as you want. You can use as less as you want. I just eyeball the ingredients and just mix everything together. I don't measure everything. So this is the glass container that I'm going to be using. Um, you can put it, this one, you can, you can either boil water and put the container on top, or you can just directly put the glass on the gas. It's, it's okay. Um, so I got this um, butter from the African store. There's this lady I come across and she started her own product line and she's selling this butter and I decided to give it a try. So yeah, I picked it up and um, I really, really liked it. Um, doing this voiceover, I have been, I, I have already started using the products. So the, the result is good and I have a very sensitive and dry skin during the winter and the summer so i try all the mostly i try some of the most natural for extreme dry skin i tried it but it's not really working and for me this works wonders this works perfectly i use this for summer winter throughout and i just loved it and shea butter is very very good cocoa butter is also very good so what i did is i kind of cut it into tiny pieces then it's more easier for it to just melt so after adding the the cocoa butter you can add as much as you want to or you can add as less as you want to i am making this body butter for the entire house for me the kids so i will be needing a lot because i really don't have the energy to be making it every single time so i try to make as much as i can and um so that it can last for at least a month or a month plus so now I'm going to add the shea butter. This shea butter, I got it. It's a raw Ghanaian shea butter. And you guys know shea butter is just one of the best moisturizer when it comes to extreme dry skin, when you have dry skin. So now I'm going to also add coconut oil. Coconut oil is, I don't know, I just love it. I love coconut oil. I cook with coconut oil. Sometimes I just rub coconut oil on my skin. The days that I don't have enough time to remake my body butter i just have like coconut oil i just take a spoon or a spoon one one or two spoon of coconut oil and i put it into the container and i use that till i have enough time to make every, to make the body butter with all the ingredients that i want to so i'm just adding as much i'm not measuring i'm just highing it i've been doing this now for a long time so I don't really measure it. I just hide. I just look at it and I know exactly how much um I need. So I'm just going to allow it to melt slowly. The shea butter melts very, very fast and the coconut oil. It's just that the cocoa butter, because it's a little bit harder. So that one do take a little bit of time for it to melt. So that's the reason I'm just adding everything little by little and now i just add the rest of the shea butter add everything and i'm just gonna allow it to just melt you know put it on the gas allow it to melt um i don't raise the gas super super high just low gas and allow it to just melt slowly as you guys can see the cocoa butter is melting slowly everything is just melting so now that everything has just melted, I turn the gas off and I allow it to sit down to cold. So before going in with the food processor, you have to allow it to cool down. So the reason why I put it inside this plastic so that I don't want it, the oil to be flashy like all over the kitchen. So for me, this is like the lazy, lazy method because I don't want to be wiping and cleaning and do other things. So I just put it in a plastic bag and then just go with the full food processor and just mix it so now that it has cooled down you have to allow it to cool down completely before adding the vitamin e oil and other oils that you want to have you want to add into the mixture so i'm going to add vitamin e oil you guys know i love vitamin e oil i always have vitamin e oil at home i use it at night underneath my eyes 
before bed and sometimes i use it to moisturize and now i'm going to add glycerin glycerin is um this is my second time adding glycerin into my body mixture as a friend of mine they recommended to me that was like it's very good especially for you that have an extreme dry skin this is perfect and i must say since i have been adding this into my mixture it's amazing i just love it i love the results i just love the way how everything just make my skin look my skin feels so soft my skin glows and i just love it i really really love it so i'm just gonna add everything as you guys can see i'm trying to get everything out of these containers like the vitamin e oil and the glycerin if you live in holland you can pick the vitamin e oil at any health health food store the glycerin i pick it up at kreutzfurt if you live in holland and the shea butter of course it's all the way from ghana coconut oil you can pick it up at a health any, any health food store if you want like the original coconut oil even though sometimes supermarkets do sell coconut oil but i feel like it's not like the original it's not like the real coconut oil because it doesn't have any coconut smell so and coconut oil is supposed to have like you're supposed to smell that cocoa like that's that tropical smell you're supposed to smell it so it doesn't have it so I I would advise you to just go to your health food store and get the original like 100% coconut oil. So now I'm just going to mix everything, just mix, 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 mix. I'm I'm just super tired and I'm not in the mood of cleaning after done. I just want to clean the pan, the basic stuff. I'm not in the mood of cleaning kitchen. I've already cleaned the kitchen, so for me putting plastic around it that's the lazy way of doing it, okay? <laughs> yeah, I just don't want too much. I just don't want too much work, you know. I'm just trying to do it and get get it up. So I'm just going to mix it properly. Make sure you mix it properly. I do. Um, You can also allow it to, like, cool and then mix it. If you want to get that buttery, creamy thing, you can um allow it to just cool. When it's, like, getting a little bit harder, and then you can go in with a food processor, but right now I'm running out of time. I have other things to do, so I skip that process. I just allow it to cool down and then add the other ingredients and just blend everything. And then I'm just going to pour everything into the container and put it in the freezer, in the, fr in the fridge, so that it gets a little bit, um, like a little bit harder. It, it doesn't get hard, hard, hard like the way the shea butter or the cocoa butter will. Because I it it's mixed with other oils, so it's hard, but it's not like super super hard. It's a little bit more on the softer side, and I just like it like that. So now I'm going to get um my container, and I'm going to use um I don't know how to call this um orange stuff. I can't get the name right now, but I'm gonna use that to make it more easier for me to add the oil into the into the container and um i made i made a lot i have like three containers i was able to get like three so everyone to put everyone gets one 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 all the kids has their own i have mine i have the bigger one and the, 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 the two little small ones were for the kids and they share everyone have one one and yeah it was good i really loved it if you uh if you have any other like recipe for extreme dry skin, but something that you make yourself. Let me know in the comment box because I have like an allergic problem and I have allergic skin. I have, I'm allergic to certain ingredients and I also have a sensitive skin. So for me, the best way out is making my own stuff, especially when it comes to like body cream. It's just making my own stuff. I really don't have the energy to go through every single ingredient list looking for what I can't use, what I can't use, what I can't use, what I can't use and what I can use. So I decided to just make my own stuff and trust me, this is 100% natural. It's good. I love it. So yeah, this is, this is what I, I, I got out of the oil. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this into the fridge, allow it to get a little bit harder because yeah, I don't want to leave it on the on the kitchen counter because them kids of mine i don't want i don't want any stress so let's just put it in the fridge and um leave it there for a few minutes 
So yeah, this is the finished result. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on my Instagram and Facebook like page. All the links will be down in the description box. Team Fullest, peace out.